The idea for writing To Kill a Machine came from a visit I went to uh, Bletchley Park in 2011. Uh, I'm married to a computer scientist and Bletchley Park is one of those places that he's always wanted to visit. As it happened, they were having a reunion there the day we went, so a lot of people who'd worked there had come back and they were also doing kind of 1940s, 1950s fashion and they also got a replica of Alan Turing's bombs working, so you had the machines ticking. And when I went round the exhibition, they had the story of his life on, on the wall, like, like, like uh, exhibitions do, and also the front page of one of his research papers uh, in a glass case. Now, the exhibition was talk telling the story of his life, his um, work, his conviction for gross indecency, and the fact that the treatment for his homosexuality was injection of oestrogen hormones. And at the same time, there was his paper, Computing Machinery and Intelligence, on the, it, it, in the glass case in the, in the museum, where it was asking what's the difference between a man and a woman. And what struck me was, well, in terms of who you fall in love with, there is no difference between a man and a woman. It's the person you fall in love with and their, their gender isn't important. But also, if a man is given female hormones, where is that line between what's a man and what's a woman? How easy is that to distinguish? And, and those two questions just kept sort of preying on my mind and thinking about it. And then the... Sherman Cymru's Spread the Word project came up and one of the activities that, that we had to do in that, a group of writers uh, we were asked to, to, to pitch an idea for a play to another person in the group. And I, I pitched an idea which has gone absolutely nowhere and was completely dull. And then as a sort of throwaway line, I said, but I've also got this idea about this play about Alan Turing. And the eight people in, in the group all said, write that, that's the play you want to write. That's what you're passionate about from talking about it, write that. So, so I did.